Hello everybody and welcome to Out of the Cube by Jojo. And today we have a few weapons. But this, today you're going to get your official new <coughs> white belt, which is an entirely new thing. So uh, congratulations, you feel pleased for yourself. So today I'm going to teach you how to use a sign by Raphael in a teenage mutant theater. So I mean turtle, not, not tiara. What was that anyway? Okay, so you gotta use this. So <clears throat> the main ways to do this is like Raphael, you gotta do this. So you know, either do this, but like, don't do this. Nothing's on it except the hand. But if you do that, it's gonna slip off like that. So the enemy can take it away. Um, I'm gonna show you how to disarm it too. So yeah, so your thumb is gonna hold here to keep it. You can smack the face, smack the crotch, or you can punch, which gives you very cool, very good um, punch. You can punch as far as you can into the screen, or you can do this. You can knock them out in the head, or in the crotch, or in the chest. But the chest or the crotch is a very critical hit. But the face, I think you should do that last. So you can do it up a line. One, two, three. Okay? But the easy way is to hut, hut, hut. Okay? Next, I'm going to show you how to disarm. So, to disarm your own weapon if they already disarm it, you're going to do it in a different way. So, <clears throat> you're going to point, the, the enemy's going to point at you. Instead, you're going to lift it up. And be careful, this, this thing can poke you. So, you're going to bite it. You're going to kick it. Then you gotta try to push it at him, and then do that. Then he's gonna let go, and and uh, <clears throat> he's gonna try to rub his face to unblind himself. And then next, you're gonna jump on him, give him a piggyback ride, and you're gonna stab him in the head, or it, or you can just um, elbow kick his crotch. But um, <clears throat> you stab him, that's more painful. So they, I'm so next one. I'm going to show you how to disarm a gun to your head. Not not to your chest, not to this, this or this. Not, not to the ear, but well, mostly it's to the head. So, if you, <clears throat> if the gun is pointing at your head, don't worry. So you're going to notice. So, <clears throat> so when the gun is pointing at you, if there's more person, then don't worry, I can show you. So. You always start with the gun first because you get he can already shoot you. So hut, you're gonna do that. You're gonna face the gun, and then the gun is gonna be reloaded. So you're gonna use the gun to shoot the enemy. So one and two, and then ah, when the, when the the guy that holding the gun, he's gonna fire. He's gonna try and fire at you, but you're holding the gun, so he's gonna do that. He's going to take it away. But how he's gonna take it away? You're gonna kick. You're gonna kick him to not not make him take it away. Then you want to kick him. You can let him go, or you can shoot. So next one, we have a katana blade. I'm gonna show you how to use it, which is used by Leonardo. And also, I'm gonna show you how to use this. So we have this. You're gonna flip it over. You know, flip it over. You got this arm under here. Yeah, this arm. You gonna flip it back in. You gonna flow flow it back up and do this. And you gotta and you're going to get used to it. <clears throat> and you're going to spin it around you. This helps you have a very good shield power. And you have to do it very quickly for you to make a shield. So pe some people say that katana blades can really be a very good shield. So that's what I'm teaching you. How to use the katana blade with a shield as a shield. So, how to use that shield? You can reflect it, but that's not gonna help because you can do it here, here, but that's actually really effective for a shield. So, hut, hut, hut. If the guy has two blades and he's gonna point it at your chest, you're going to you know, slide it through to you know, do it as fast as you can, and then it's gonna separate the two. And once you do that, you gonna dug all your all your bodies down, and you gonna, you gonna stab them. So 
I also have to I want to teach how to not cut off your how to not make the enemy cut off your head. That's a very important lesson for a katana blade. A katana blade is very sharp, but the, you know all, the only thing that can that can stop it from choking you or stabbing you in the neck is to pull it back as fat as good as you can. So <clears throat> when it's when it get tight, you're going to pull back and then kick. You know, <clears throat> you know, he's going to uh, kick you in the crotch, but you're not going to let that do happen. So he, you're going to let him kick your, his own sword. So you, <clears throat> and then, and then you can kick him back. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, and now you have a sword. So, now I'm going to show you how to punch the head 10 times. Okay? So you have to do a 10 punch. Hut, 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 hut. Okay? That's done. Or you do a double kick. Okay? And also, uh, don't try this too much at home. So, you need a very good flexibility. Okay? So don't try this at home too much. But all you can do is stretch to keep it moving. When you punch it one time, and then kick. When you do the you see goat kick. Okay. Okay. So the juicy goat kick is up to the next check checkpoint. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So um, <clears throat> let's let's keep going. So I did three moves. If I am I if I'm wrong, then um. <clears throat> then please, then please tell me um, at school if you're in my class or in my school. So let's do this. <clears throat> so you can do elbow kick, but <clears throat> you can't you can't really do an elbow kick to the face. So you're either gonna do it to the belly or the crotch. So once you do it to the belly, so when you're in this position, you know, so freeze your arms and you know, kick. And your arm's gonna be here, and then punch. Okay, so kick, punch, kick, punch. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little too much, so don't try this at home. This is actually a black belt move. Okay. So here we go. Hut, hut, hut. Okay. So um, <clears throat> that's a black belt move. If you could do it, very good. So, let me try to do a peacock kick. A peacock kick is this. <clears throat> so, a peacock kick is a purple belt, I think. So, hut, hut. So, one knee and one kick. But you're gonna do it at the same time. Hut, ha. Okay? So, watch me again. Hut, ha. And look. Hut, ha. Okay, let me show you how to do a reverse killer. So, a reverse killer sounds like this, but that's not a pellet, so, so all you're gonna have to do is choke him in the neck and punch it off. Choke neck, choke neck. And add a move to it for more pain, and choke him, kick, punch. Okay, so <clears throat> one more move. This is going to be a very painful one. This is called, use anything as a weapon. So like, if I have this MacBook, and I want to kill someone with a book, then do this. And fold it, boom, boom. Okay? So, um, yeah. So if any, if you can see your environment very good, then yeah, you could do this move very good. So. I am Alex, <coughs> Alex the Cutie Pie, and thanks for watching. <sighs>